Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And we also open a lot of old school magic. And the cool thing is I've got mail from all over the place. I believe this is from France. This is from Italy. I think so. And this one is all the way from Brazil. Brazil. La, 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 la. If you don't know the song, I'll put a link in the description below. It's, um, I warn you, it's pretty bad. It's 90s stuff, but, or was it early zeros? I, anyway, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a cool song. It's about Brazil. And I always think about that song. So this is a special letter. I believe it's from Ricardo. Uh, we've had some contact on Instagram. So I'm going to open this one last. And I actually first want to start with my envelope from France. There's only one card in here, I believe, and I buy a lot of cards through Card Market. And what you have from time to time is you see a card that's just cheap. You know, it's cheap. And then you can do two things. You can uh, send a message to that person, ask, could you send me a picture of the card? Because I want to make sure it's the right card or the right condition. But then what, you, what usually happens is, um, you know, they take it. Let's check that I'm not cutting through the card. They, uh, they take it off and they change the price. So I took kind of a gamble on this uh, by just ordering the card without really checking if it's the right card or asking for any photos. So it should be the right card. And I'm like, if it's not, um, I'll just send it back, you know. This look, I think this looks pretty nice, actually. This looks pretty legit, you know, a nice little bag that I put it in. I appreciate that. I like that. So there's a receipt. Okay, so far so good. I'm not going to show you the receipt because I don't want to spoil the card. And uh, I'm sure we've all seen the upticks in prices. And from time to time, you see a card that's still pretty affordable. And you think, okay, you know what? I'm just going to gonna buy it um, just be careful okay so there's the sleeve I guess the protector and yeah there we go this is the card I ordered granite gargoyle and it's in a it's in a bad state look at that look at all the wear I love I love like highly played cards I was a little bit worried I thought maybe it's a revised version that's being sold as an unlimited because that does happen. But this is exactly what I paid for. A card and it kind of like, okay, you can see it on camera. You can see it on camera. It's really, it's really in a poor state, but the price was accordingly. So I really don't mind. What I mind much more is sometimes on, on cart market, they sell cards um, that are simply from another edition and you order, for example, an alpha card and you get a beta card and you're like, come on, guys, we should know this by now. Uh, but this is great. So this is just an honest seller, an honest deal. So that's good. Granite Gargoyle, if you ever have the time, try to pronounce the author of the Underworld Cookbook. So I'm just going <laughs> to give you a moment. I'm not going to try it. Give it a try. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful card. One uh, red and two. This is actually my second one that I have. It's a 2-2 two -two flyer. I don't think I will be able to, to get a full play set, but I'm already happy that I have two of these. So that's great. You know, I've got a full revised play set, which is absolutely fine. So this is the first card. Granite Gargoyle from the Unlimited Expansion. Uh, we're gonna put it here and let's do the next one. I believe this is an Italian card. I'm still working on my um, Italian deck, which is just a lot of fun. Here we go. It's a stack of cards, it seems. Kind of creepy cover. A mask. I guess I could use this for um, illusionary mask. That's actually not too bad. I could do that. There we go. So a mask token. And this looks like a new card. Yeah, jousting, whatever. Hey, this is the card I wanted. These two cards by Lurker. One green and two from the dark. It's a two, three. And actually this is the last card I need to complete my The Dark Collection. So I'm really, really happy about that. My The Dark Collection is now complete just once. 
Just once, I'm a humble man, but I'm really happy that I've completed the dark. Um, let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to make a video about um, the dark and about my The Dark collection where I kind of go through the key cards in the dark and maybe some nice trivia. Let me know if you'd like me to do that in the comments below and maybe I'll make, uh, I'll make it. So the Lurker, really happy. Um, it's got a really unique ability, by the way. First of all, that gruesome art again by Anson Maddox. Look at those big hands. And Lurker is a 2-3 and it's just got this very special ability. Lurker may not be the target of any spells unless Lurker was declared as an attacker or a blocker. So it really has to be in that combat phase where you say, I'm going to attack with the Lurker, then you can target it, or I'm going to block with the Lurker on defense, then you can target it. It doesn't mean that you can target the Lurker when it's stepped. That's a mistake that's often made. No, only when it's declared an attacker and only when it's declared a blocker. Okay, so if you have anything sorcery speed, it's not going to touch the Lurker. I can guarantee you that. So, Lurker, last card in my The Dark collection. Really sweet. And then, a mail day all the way from Brazil by Ricardo. He sent me a message. He's like, would you like some Timmy's? I'm like, yeah, of course. This is my address. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I'm in, I'm in Brazil. So then I said, you know, man, I'm, I'm not expecting you to actually send it because it must be quite costly to uh, to mail me all the way from Brazil. I really do appreciate it. It's always nice to get cards and um, yeah, let's 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 open it up. I've also sent you something back so I hope by the time that this mail day video goes online that you've received my pack uh, from the Netherlands as well. Let me know in the comments below if that's the case. And here we go. Checking just to make sure the rest is empty. Really nice, sturdy envelope. Do you say that? Sturdy. And here we've got the cards. I'm just expecting Timmy's. Uh, okay, we got to open it up here, I guess. There's some sellotape. Let's see if we can get rid of the sellotape. It's, it's, it's really nice. Ah, here we can already see a first Timmy. Let's try to pronounce that. Feticiro Prodigio. Invocar Maggio. Yes, that's how you do it. I hope people were making notes. Somebody said my pronunciation sounds like a drunken Super Mario. I take that as a compliment. And let's try to open this one up. There we go. Whoop. And I see there's also a channel in here. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's first take a look at this, Timmy. Let's take it out of the sleeve. I actually don't have this Timmy yet, so I really appreciate it, Ricardo. Thank you for sending this out to me. Very cool. This is going into my Timmy collection. Very, very sweet. Thank you. And there's actually another one, two of these. And I guess these are Portuguese because you're from Brazil. And I know in Brazil they speak Portuguese. I do know that Brazilian Portuguese is much different than the European Portuguese. All I know in Portuguese is calma, calma, acontece. So that's all I need. That's all I know. And it basically means take it easy. It's all my fault. So don't worry about it. So calma, calma, acontece. So thank you, Ricardo, for this beautiful, these two beautiful protocol sorcerers. And I see you've also sent me a pretty cool channel. So thank you for that. Always appreciate revised cards, especially cards with art like this. The channel is just stunning. First, we've got the Timmy's here, of course, by good old Douglas Schuler. And let's take a closer look at this channel by Richard Thomas. Richard Thomas, also the artist that did uh, Air Elemental which I think is one of the most stunning cards art-wise. Really, really love his color use also in this piece. I mean, look, look at him. Look at his sorcerer, completely drained, right? He's using all the power to cast something huge to strike down his foe, which is exactly what you do when you cast channel, right? Two green sorcery. Until end of turn, you may add colorless mana to your mana pool at a cost of one life per point of mana. These additions are played with the speed of an interrupt. 
Effects that prevent or redirect damage may not be used to counter this loss of life, unfortunately. How cool. And of course we know the combo channel fireball. And this card is restricted for a reason. I have been um, experimenting a little bit with channel in like a green artifact brew. Like getting a really early Colossus of Sardia out with an... Um, What's that card called again? Install, install energy, install energy. Um, anyway, that gives your creature haste so you can attack straight away. So my idea was channel the energy card and Colossus of Sardia and basically just deal nine damage in, I don't know, turn two or turn three. It just sounds really funny if you can pull that off. It's really janky, but if you can do it, you're kind of the boss. So um, yeah, this was today's mail day. And I want to thank you, Ricardo, for sending these beautiful Portuguese Timmies all the way to me from Brazil. I really, really appreciate it. Also very happy with the Lurker and, of course, my granite gargoyle. And I would like to thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you want to support the channel, you can give me a like. I really appreciate it. And so does YouTube. You can also leave um a comment you can uh, become a subscriber you can share this video on your socials and another thing you can do is you can also become a patron of the channel and support the channel financially how well there's probably a card popping up right now click on the link appearing in the info card and that will take you to timmy talks patreon page and there you can sign up as a patron starting with one dollar a month um, talking about that, let's go to the end scroll and let's have another look or let's have a look at all the amazing, fantastic patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? 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 Ik het als fikkertes samba kan zien.